all right so now here we are for michael's part two we're going to start off with this one i feel is the more playful collection when i say collections it's just things that all look the same to me like they look like they clearly are a part of the same thing made for the to play off of each other so i call them collections even if they're not the collections and usually if they're put together and they all had the similar look it's clearly a collection so that's why i say collection so this collection is more so i feel like the playful one the less serious one you can put this anywhere for any reason adult or child i feel like it can go either way and it doesn't really matter You know, I never use the days till Christmas signs, but I saw a few cute ones this year. So I'm trying to think like, do I want to get one or do I want to just stick to not using it? I don't know, I might get one. But this, I love this little typewriter. It was so cute. I was just looking at it. It's the cutest thing. And like, you can put a little elf next to it, put that on your coffee table or mantle or something. I think it's fun. And it will be cute for actually, if you, for your office desk, because you know, you need like smaller things. And if you have like maybe a cubicle, it's it's square so you can kind of sit there right in the corner i think that's cute it's so perfect and they have some easels in here thanksgiving i feel like they do more easels than they do than they did or do consistently for christmas so there were uh let me see the last video there was i think two easels and i actually think there might have only been one other one i saw i don't remember but they definitely don't have anywhere near as many easels as they have for fall And here go Mrs. and Mr. Claus kissing each other. Remember, I've mentioned that in another video. I said, every, Macy's, I said, every time you see Mrs. Claus, she's with Santa, they're either kissing or somebody sitting up, another one standing, or they're holding hands. And here we are, Mr. and Mrs. Claus kissing each other. It's cute, but like I said, they do it all the time. So that's why I was like, okay, shout out to Macy's for having Mrs. Claus all by herself. But I actually went in Lowe's and they actually had a huge Mrs. Claus. I think she lit up. She was actually by herself, not huge, but a very large Mrs. Claus and she lit up by herself. So that was cool. And this right here, I feel like can be, you can put your keys on this, the fat Santa with the tray. It can't, obviously it can't be a cookie dish. Unless you, you know, like you have kids, they put cookies out on it. But I think that little fat Santa can be good for your keys. But you got to make sure, usually if you put, have an area you sit your keys on, it kind of gets bumped a lot. So that would be a little bit risky to put your keys on there. But I think that would be so cute for the keys. And I also like their signs. They were really cute. Very festive. This is like, I, I don't know, maybe I'll maybe I call it the festive collection. The fun, festive collection. But it was really cute. I like their signs. They didn't have as many as, in my opinion, as they normally do. But the smaller ones they had plenty of larger ones but the smaller ones they didn't have as many but they still had plenty of things to choose from Yeah, I like tabletop signs like this, but I never know, like I put them out and then I'm never happy with them. I don't know why. I think they're cute, but actually putting them on the table just never really works out for me. I mean, I kind of put it, the only table it really works out is a tiny little table I have in my vestibule where I put the bell. It works out there. So I feel like for me, visually how I see it, it works out better maybe on a smaller table. But this little uh, recipe for chair um, dish was so cute. I don't think it's a dish. Actually, no, it, it looks like a dish to me. So you can clearly use it as a dish. I thought it was so cute that and the recipe for Holly and I actually was reading it like I had to take notes or something for bacon but it's so cute. This joy sign, just so you know, was not heavy and it was actually kind of lightweight and 
it wasn't thick at all. I feel like this might break easily if you handle it too roughly. I thought it would be heavier and thicker than that. It not being heavy isn't a problem. The material was just a lot thinner than I expected it to be. Just so you know, these boots, love these boots. In my opinion, you can put flowers in these. <laughs> can you imagine having flowers coming out of Santa's boots? But I think they are so cute. I never saw just Santa's boots before. And this time, this this time, I love it. It's huge. I just feel, I feel like this time might have needed a different framing instead of the black for me. But you know what? It still works with the black. And I do just want to say, I forgot your name, I'm so sorry, but I, I move slowly. I move a lot more slowly now. And then when I watch it back, I'm like, I was not moving that fast. One time I was moving so slow, I ended up being in the store far too long. But when I put it in the Ultra HD, whatever they call it, for some reason it blurs a lot when I move around. Even though I'm telling you, I promise y'all, I'm moving so slow. I really am, I'm very, moving very slowly. But like I said, my camera camera is so cheap, so that's probably why <laughs> it looks like that. Um, since it's Christmas time, I'm definitely going to look in to see when cameras are available and like upgrade and step my game up. But I am moving more slowly. It just looks like I'm not. So sorry. I think this tool is very cute. The little tree bushel there, the bucket, the wreath, it's adorable. But when you get stuff like this, I guess like the big ones, did, did we get to those yet? I think in the first Michael's video, like when it's just a big fake door where it's kind of thing supposed to be wreathed and then a big fake window frame. I'm saying that I bought one last year. <laughs> I bought one last year so I, so I can't talk, but like, how does it really look like is it really a point in buying those things because it seems just kind of random to have a fake window with like garland on it or a fake door what where do you put your fake doors do you actually put your fake doors on your door as your wreath like that will be kind of like I don't know that would be kind of weird but I don't know I've never seen it on a door but like, where do you put it where, where do they go Now when you get your guys, when you guys get your tree skirts, do you get the hard metal ones or do you get the fabric ones? 
because I usually end up I usually have the actually I only have ever had I think one tree skirt usually I just make one up through like a lace tablecloth a lot to you not I'm like look this works just fine and sometimes I just prefer that aesthetic but now I have like the silver and gold white and gold one that I'm always using but I'm looking for another one do you use the hard ones or do you use the softer ones I don't think it would really be I don't think it really matters but which one is better like quality wise is the harder ones better maybe even put it in a basket I see they have like baskets kind of now I forgot what they call it but I thought it was really cool I saw it last year I forgot the name of it or do you use like the fabric ones now for me with people if they, if they walk near it or if you have children or pets they they can like swish around if people are messing with it or if pets are messing with it or children so that's why I want to say probably the metal material might be better I don't know but here are all of the ornaments there was a huge owl full of ornaments just going on for days I don't even know how they got through all of that that would have been, would have been way too much for me to get through I would have went crazy but they have a lot so I kind of just jumped through really quickly I don't get necessarily all of them because I would have been there all day with that because there were definitely a lot of them this ornament was very pretty i'm really digging these ornaments that have like little depictions in them that one was just reindeer and christmas trees in macy's they had one with jesus in a manger here they have santa claus and a christmas tree i really am liking these and it's like just glow in my opinion it's like open glows that don't have the snow just a globe that you can sit on the tree and i really do like those Now, if you saw my Macy's video, I told you there were little mini wreaths like in Macy's that were also in Michael's, but Michael's weren't as nice. I wasn't lying. Sorry, Michael's is still not as nice. But like I said, they are green with red and the ones in Macy's are, oop, I forgot. <laughs> I think they're gold. I think they're gold with red. I can't quite remember. Go watch the video. You'll see it is in the sec Macy's part two, I think. Oh well, either way, they have these in here. The quality, in my opinion, isn't as good. You can kind of tell that they just go through like getting glued and then the glitter is dumped on it, but they're not bad. And I want, I'm probably, I might get some of those. I don't know. I don't actually know I'm not because putting green on a tree is pointless. I've done it in the past one time. I was like, oh, I want to have green and red be the thing for my tree. And then I went out and got all of this green and red stuff. Where's the green? You couldn't see the green. I had the mesh ribbon, I had the, the ornaments, all of that, and you could not see it. So I guess if you have a green tree, my, don't get don't get green ornaments. Don't get nothing green for the tree, unless it's like the angel on top or whatever your tree topper is. It's gonna be pointless because it's gonna blend. Now, since I'm using a flock tree this year, if you have a flock tree or maybe even a different color, you have a pink one or gold one, something like that, buying green is perfectly fine because it's not gonna blend. But when you buy green, I don't care what shade it is, no matter the shade of green, it's gonna blend in with your tree and you're barely gonna be able to see it if you'll be able to see it at all. So don't get green. If you don't believe me, Next time you're in the store shopping for Christmas, take a green ornament, go to whatever green tree they have on display and sit it on there and tell me that it doesn't look like it's invisible. There, That's just a waste. Get something that doesn't blend. It's, it's funny though, because if you get white ornaments on a flock tree or a white tree, you can see the white ornaments, but green on green, you can't see it. Why that is, I don't know, but it is a fact and I learned that multiple times because one year I said, okay, I'll get a different shade of green. Nope, still couldn't see it. So green is out if your tree is green. Soundstripe.
Okay, like in this section, it was just a bunch of candles. These are all of these that you're gonna see other than the lanterns, they're actually candles. Just so you're curious, like it's like Christmas trees, the Santa faces, they're, you like these, they're not LED, well, some of them are LED. You'll see if I flip it over, it's LED. But these are wax, like the Santa face, the beard, that's a wax candle. I don't know how they'll burn if the whole thing is just wax and it's not, and I've actually never, bought a candle that doesn't come in a jar like or glass or anything like that so i'm guessing the wax will drip i don't know <laughs> I've, I've literally never bought a candle that doesn't have a that doesn't come in a container so with this i don't know if you how you can sit one in it because i know if you get that santa face it's going to be way too big for a three-bit candle holder because it has to be bigger than one but maybe it'll fit i doubt it but definitely think about the wax melting everywhere unless you know how that works or you have a tray you want to set it on or you can actually depending on how big it is you find something that it can actually that can hold it they do have the led um, lights and they were some of them are really pretty and um it's kind of like you can take those and use those for display even in a tree if you want to use the because i know in the past like in the olden days they use candles for their christmas tree lights which is why there were so many fires that is incredibly dangerous but if you want to have the tree look, you can definitely just buy some LED or fake um, battery battery operated candles and put them in your Christmas tree. And one of these years, I don't really want to do it this year, but one of these years I'm going to try it because I want to see what that looks like. Because I've seen, you know, the black and white movies. I've seen, even in black and white, I thought it looked really nice, but obviously that's a crazy fire hazard, especially on a tree that they're going to dry out on top of this. But you know, LED lights, if you want to put them in a tree or if you want to put them anywhere and if you get the ones with wax, I don't know how that works with the candle with the wax dripping wild list. And this is the example of the Christmas tree candles I was talking about. I tried to zoom in on the wick so that it just in case I forgot to mention it while I was doing my video, you guys would be able to see the candle. But they're really nice. They're beautiful. They're very decorative. You don't even have to burn them. So if you want it, but you don't want to get waxed everywhere, I don't have anywhere you can really put it, you don't have to burn it. You can just get it for the aesthetic. So they're, they have a lot of them. Most of them are Christmas trees, but it doesn't matter because they're very beautiful. the do-it-yourself wreath kits I didn't even know there was a thing this is, which is pretty cool I've made my own wreaths in the past but I would usually just get the you know the ones that are just barren and then go from there and just buy a bunch of stuff but Michael's has it where it's a whole kit it's a wreath kit it comes with everything you might need to make it and they probably have instructions in there and you can do it up yourself I think that's super cool never saw that before I do like making my own wreaths but then depending on how you want to make it after a while it just becomes so much stuff you have to buy it's like look I should have just bought a regular one but I love that that is super cool and these are the outdoor mats these are huge they're not small at all which I loved and there was a poinsettia that I'm kind of looking at I have a outdoor Christmas mat but I'm not really impressed with it I actually didn't like it last year but I couldn't find anything I wanted and that was the only one I was willing to settle for <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, look, let me just get this. I'm tired of looking. So I definitely want a new Christmas mat. There's no point in me getting putting the welcome mat I had if I find a new one and putting it in the backyard because I don't decorate. Once it once like snow hits, I don't decorate. Like I'll do it for the fall, 
but I definitely don't do it for the winter. So I'm not even gonna put it in the back door, but I want a new one. And I'm looking at that Cardinal, the Cardinal, the Poinsettia, and it's really pretty. I don't know, it's just Christmas, man. I haven't, I have yet to find something that just really speaks to me. I'll find it though. Here are some of the many wreaths that they had in this one and they had even more in the other Michaels location that I went into first. The This one, since this one is kind of small, it's not a small store, store at all, but Michaels has a huge selection. But I guess with so much stuff that they have, like in general just in store, these wreaths you probably see in the smaller Michaels are up, up on the wall. So you'll see these go all the way up to the top, but somehow I was able to get most of the prices. It was a few that weren't really you couldn't really see they were really up at the top but i think i got almost all of them except for two and i will say the wreath with the i think uh santa's legs is hideous i'm sorry that thing is so ugly and then it had the nerve to cost how much if you like it i'm I, you like it go for it i know somebody's gonna like it it's not about what i like or anyone likes individually you know giving commentary it's about what you want and go buy it but me i was like y'all got some nerve charging all that money for that ugly thing it was, it was hideous to me. One of the ugliest things I've seen for Christmas decor ever. But the other wreaths, they did have some cute ones. And then they have like the Christmas ornament ones. I've never been a fan of the Christmas ornament wreaths, but one of these were cute. I don't remember which one. <laughs> I, don't, I can't think of it, but they were cute. And these, the wreaths here, they were massive. None of these were small. I'm telling you that right now. So if you're looking for anything small, they do have smaller ones. Clearly I know this because the other location had them. But this one, all of them were large. They weren't like... Like if you have like a mansion, like some of the ones at Home Goods might throw out every now and then. They didn't have anything that that large, but they had definitely had large ones. You can even see with my hand with me trying to feel the texture of it. And these were not moving. I wanted to see if they would move. They're not. They're glued in there pretty good. So it's flat in the bag with tinsel. And so sometimes I look at wreaths if depending on where I put it, can I see it on either side? If like if I put it somewhere that's clear, if I put it in the window, can I see something from the front and the back? I think. All of the ones that were made in were made from Christmas ornaments are flat in the back, and all of the other ones that have like the fake uh, grassy texture and all that, they were like front to back. But there was no decor in some of the back of the ones, some of the back of the other ones. But for the most part, front and back has something to them. One of these days, I'm just going to do a whole entire gingerbread theme. Like, have a whole entire room dedicated to gingerbread. I mean, like the houses, the mat, everything. I think that will be so cute. Like, just have gumdrop buttons and everything like that. And I just saw Shrek Spoopy Stories, I think it was. I just saw that too and I'm just like Gingy is just so cute. Gingy and Shrek is crazy and I love it. I think that would be so cute. Now I think I, I think I saw somebody a few months ago when they started recommending Christmas videos to me on YouTube. I think she did that. Like I think she made her own gigantic gingerbread decor pieces like huge and she did kind of like a gingerbread theme if I'm remembering, remembering correctly. But I'm telling you I'm going to do it and I think that would be so cute. Have frosted cookies and everything like that. And then actually have real cookies in the mix, like in trees and stuff. I think that would be so festive and so cute and very fun.
they didn't have that big of a flower collection in either location, but I'm, I get the feeling that they didn't really get them in yet because they had like a lot of the same flower. I think it was like a silvery gray poinsettia and this one kind of taking up a lot of space is if they had to fill it in. So I don't know if Michael's is short on getting flower shipments because both locations, neither of them had that many. So it's not much of an option if that's what you're looking for, but I get the feeling they're probably gonna get them in. I have to go back in Michael's again. Actually, I don't have to go in Michael's, but I'm gonna go back in Michael's because I wanna look at something that they had, see if I wanted to put inside the tree. So it's not a huge selection, and I don't know if it's gonna become a huge selection. I just know that they have some things, and it, again, it might depend on your Michael. Michael's, excuse me. Now, Michaels definitely has the jumbo ornaments in here. Some of them are really cute. They had a pack. I've never seen the jumbo ornaments come in a pack, so that's really, thank you, Michaels, for that one. I don't think I have anything that's big enough to where I wanna use it. I, you, actually, you don't have to really only use it in a tree. And I, I, a YouTuber I watch, she has a 12 foot tree. I think it's a 12 foot tree. She got a new tree. It's huge, that's all I know, 12 or 15, something like that. And she has like the huge ornaments like this. I think she might've said she got some of these from Michaels. So a tree like that, you definitely gonna need these, but they had these and some of them were just so cute. It started raining randomly and I'm like, I didn't have anything with me, so I'm not gonna carry them through the rain. And then the snowflakes, I, were gonna, I was gonna get those snowflakes, but then I remembered I had gigantic snowflakes. I only need two, but then I'm like, maybe I wanna just trim it around the living room, make it my trim, I don't know. But I love huge ornaments. I just never know necessarily what to do with them. Like, where do I put them? <laughs> but they're cute and these, these were cute here and you have to dig through the bins. It's not just like, oh, this bin has all snowflakes or anything like that. Dig through the bins. They have stuff down at the bottom. It's all different and mixed up in there. Now these are my poinsettias. Yes, they are. I bought these last year for 50% off. These are awesome. And I put them out like I got them because you know last year with all the shipment and everything, they they had they were using Halloween for like up through the first two weeks of December because they didn't get any Christmas in. Then I don't know where they got all this Christmas in. When I saw those in and they were 50% because that's exactly what I wanted. I snatched them things so fast. I got them before work. I rolled right up. Yes, I sure did. I rolled right up and worked with those. I didn't care. And they look really good in, out my front door. So I definitely suggest if you want these to get them, they don't look cheap at all. They're beautiful. I love them. And I'm going to have them hopefully for a long time, long as they don't fall apart when I put them in storage. <laughs> but they are gorgeous. I love them. And I this year, I'm either going, I want them by, I don't actually want them by the door. I want them at the top of my staircase. And then I want to have the fake gift boxes at the door. But I don't know, I gotta find the stack gift boxes that I want. But I definitely highly suggest you getting those. And 
and the, these are, in my opinion, like the quirky tree ornaments, I guess. Like you could stick them in there. You don't even have to put them in a tree. If you're doing like a gingerbread theme, you can use those huge lollipop pieces and stuff like that, like for your theme, like I was saying. But these I think are fun and they're perfect to stick in your tree, depending on the size. Some of them are very loud and for a defi definitely a fun personality. So I think these are, some of them are pretty cool. Some of them are a little, a little wild for me, but it's definitely fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for Michaels. I hope you enjoyed it. I also hope you saw what you like and you like what you saw. Go out and go and grab it because it might not be there if you decide to wait because I know it's not just me. I've noticed empty shelves more and more and more everywhere I go. I don't know what's going on. They're going to start trying to say that there's a distribution issue with the chains like they did last year. So nobody can get anything in grocery stores, wherever. I have no idea. So go out and get it now and even start your Christmas shopping because supplies everywhere are running low. I have noticed that. Now, my next video is going to be my lasagna video. I'm going to make lasagna with you guys tomorrow, so tune in for that. It's just a sweets and eat dish for Thanksgiving. I already did carrot cake, and with how busy I am, I'm not going to be able to get to anything else. So sweets and eats for Thanksgiving only has two videos, but go ahead and check out carrot cake, and then go ahead and check out lasagna with us tomorrow. So the next shopping video, you got to tune in to see. That being said, I'm your hostess and empress, Nikki T. Thanks for visiting my empire. Deuces!